This is a tutorial for Trimble Site Vision. For more information on this product, visit sitevision.trimble.com or contact your local dealer. Hello, and welcome to another Trimble Site Vision tutorial. In this segment, we'll be going through some of the functions of the Applications button, specifically creating a to-do and taking measurements. In Site Vision, the button on the bottom center of the screen is known as the Applications button and provides four useful functions we will be going through. This is the first of two videos that will go through the functions of the Applications button. To learn how to use the rest of them, look for the video titled Apps button, Grades, Distance, and Cut Fill to learn more. To select the To Do function, tap and hold the Applications button, then select the camera icon first from the left. The Applications button now turns into a camera, allowing you to take photos of your current view and create a To Do task in Trimble Connect for later use in the office. To create a to-do, simply tap its icon on the bottom center of the screen to take a photo and open the to-do window. In this window, you can write a description of the photo you just took and set its level of priority, low, normal, high, or critical, and what type of to-do it is. For phones with text-to-speech enabled, you can also tap the description field followed by the microphone icon to dictate your information instead of typing it. To change the title of the to-do, tap the pencil icon on the top of the screen. You can also assign different people or multiple people to a single to-do by tapping the plus icon by the assign to heading. You can also change when the to-do needs to be addressed by changing the date under the due date heading. Lastly, you can add additional pictures by clicking on the camera icon on the lower right. When you're ready to submit your to-do, tap Save on the lower right to save it onto your project in Trimble Connect. The photographs you take with your to-do are also georeferenced with position and information which are stored as part of the photo's information. To use the measurement function, tap and hold the Applications button, then tap the targeting reticle icon from the available options. This will then select the measurement option and give you additional options accessible to the left and right of the Applications button for taking measurements. By default, Site Vision starts the measurement function in GNSS mode, which uses the GNSS from the Catalyst antenna or your phone's own GNSS to record your current location as northing easting elevation or latitude, longitude, and height. When taking GNSS measurements, it is recommended that you use a range pole to increase your accuracy. These positions are recorded with a GNSS accuracy of about 1 to 2 centimeters. You can also switch to EDM mode, which allows you to take measurements that are far away from you such as under trees or near buildings. The accuracy of this position is determined in part by the orientation accuracy from AR Core. For the best results, walk towards the point to be measured, then take the measurement itself. With enough preparation, you can achieve horizontal accuracies of up to 20 centimeters and vertical accuracies of up to 10 centimeters. There is also AR mode, which allows you to take measurements from your current location to any point of your choosing on the model surface. Once you've selected a mode, you can take the measurement by tapping the crosshair in the center or the Applications button on the bottom center of the screen. Whenever you take a measurement of any kind, Site Vision will create a window on the right with the details of the measurement, such as the distance and bearing for EDM measurements, latitude and longitude for GNSS measurements, or the slope and horizontal distance to the model point for AR measurements. In the window itself, you can name or rename the point, enter the code value for each point, and for GNSS measurements, set the height the measurement was taken from. All of your measurements are also stored in a CSV file that can be synchronized back to the project in Trimble Connect.